welcome to my channel i purchased another duplex my eighth property i'm actually heading there to give you guys a property tour and also i'm gonna share how much i purchased this property how i found this property and uh, you know what are my plans to do with it all those details so let's go So here we are. This is my eighth property and it is a duplex. It's actually up and down duplex. So you still see the two doors. So one door goes up to the upper unit and the lower is another unit. So actually by the look wise, you can say it looks smaller, right? So it is a little bit smaller property. Upper unit is only like a small one bedroom unit and the lower unit is a, a two bedroom okay size. And good thing with the lower, they have access to the basement and the basement there is another bedroom another kitchen another washroom and living so the together with the basement the main floor i'm going to rent it as a three bedroom two bath currently there is a kitchen but i'm going to remove that kitchen i have to i'm going to tell why uh, shortly so let's go inside so to start with a, a decent sized front porch just need some nice cleaning you know nice painting probably that's all i'm going to do here and need to change the door, probably the wind and I have to change the locks. That's the first thing. So let's put this aside. So let's go into the main floor first. Come in. So to start with, you can see again, my favorite part, because you've been watching my channels, you know, I love to do TLC work. I don't want to do too crazy renovations. So this property, need those all TLCs. So you will check out in a second. So you see all the punch-ins, probably the tenant punched in, maybe a wife angry on husband or husband angry on wife, <laughs> whatever the story. Uh, so you can see this is not even operating properly. Oh, irritating sound. <laughs> irritating sound. So closet. So you can see this is actually a living room, but I don't know why he put up a wall. So it's like a bedroom. So I'm going to rip off this walls if it permits. You know, I have to check if there is any load bearings and electrical, I have to move them. So I'll do my best to move this off. So that way, at least the living is a, at least a nice open area kind of park. So you can see the light fixture, tenant took the light fixture with him. Uh, so there is no lighting in this bedroom, but good size window though and flooring. I'm thinking of changing it. I don't like that much. And it started to peel off in a couple of areas. And there is no proper trim, if you observe. So there is no proper trim there. There is no proper trim there. It's like a kind of a white, brown, and then gray. So it's ugly. I'm gonna change all into white uh, trim and gray painting. So come in further inside. And here's the washroom. So maybe I'll sit here. So this washroom, bathtub is okay. And uh, this part, I don't like this. I love you, it seems <laughs> there is a, like in written in letters. So probably I'm gonna change this part. Like I'll try to maybe make it all white. Um, toilet, I'll change it because, you know, I'm the one who is gonna pay for water. So I don't want this flush. It will flush a lot of water. It takes a lot of water. So I would go for those two low and high and also a little bit more water efficient uh, toilet. Vanity, I'll see. If I can find a nice cute vanity, I'll change it. And light fixture, mirror, I'll change the mirror. And uh, light fixtures, maybe I'll clean up and see. Uh, of course, I need to put the shower. Of course, the painting, that's for sure. Flooring. It's mandatory. You can see it's ugly. Okay. And here's the bedroom one. Again, you can see trim one color. 
trim another color. So trims are in different colors and you can see so many nails there. I don't know what they did. All the nails all over. So I'm gonna, I have to mud, mud them and paint them and light fixture. I'm gonna put some nice LED. So paint the whole house. Uh, window is actually broken. Here, this is another tip for investors. There is a second panel in the back and I don't feel any coldness. So no air is coming out. I'm debating why do I have to change the window for now because it's still vinyl window. So I was thinking to put a, like a, those blurry uh, stickers that you get in Daorama. I was thinking to put that. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Would I, do you think would I, should I change it? Or do you think should I just put that plaster? Because I, I haven't come across this kind of things that much. So rarely I see that. It's still in a usable condition. And door, look at that. I don't know what they did. Painting everywhere, already broken. So we'll change this door. So that's the entrance to the basement, but we'll go into the basement in a minute. Again, there is a door for basement. So there's too many doors. I was thinking I'll just make the arch and take the door out or I'll have to change the door. But I'll, I'll, I'll make a decision on that one later. So let's come into the kitchen. This is an important element because kitchen gives you the most value. The, the nicer the kitchen, the higher rent you get, um, the higher your property will appreciate. So to start with, I actually like the cabinets. They're in a very good condition. You know, I don't think I'm gonna change the cabinets. So everything is in a good condition. So why do I have to change the cabinets? I don't wanna waste my money. Um, I'll leave the cabinets, but you can see this countertop is already gone. See here, all air, so too much. And uh, you see some water pouring in here. So maybe I'll clean it up and try to fix it. If not, I'll change this part and change the countertop. And uh, you see this backsplashes? Gray color, gray color, different colors. And then brown and for some reason, I don't know. What do you think? What do you, do you like that backsplashes? Let me know in the comments below. I might change, I will try to put a nice subway tiles uh, something that can go well with this colors with the countertop um, and gas stove nice and good uh, something interesting here you see countertop ends here and then he has extra cabinet so that's why I think he didn't put the exhaust fan rather he put that uh, restaurant style exhaust so maybe I'll have to come up with some creative way we'll see okay and there is a second uh, bedroom there probably it's exactly the similar uh, type. I have to change the trim, painting, maybe light fixture is okay. So there is a closet. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to patch it up. That's the closet for the other bedroom. So it's interesting. <laughs> okay, let's go. So here's another thing. The whole common area and the kitchen tile. I don't know, I'm debating. What do you think? It's ugly, of course. First of all, I'm gonna clean it up. But I was debating whether to put a nice vinyl plank on top of it or leave it and use it for a few months or few times a year or so. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. What would you recommend me doing with this? So here's the access to the basement. So weird part with the basement access is it's little smaller. But the thing is, it's a bonus room and also they have access from the outside. So if they have adult kids or yeah, older parents, they have a basement. So here we are in the basement. So first of all, laundry, but the tenant, previous tenant looks like they took the washer. So I'm gonna put the washer and dryer. Even the cable is cut off. I don't know what cable is this. I have to fix this all. You see all this uh, ceiling, this old style stuff, they're already all gone. So empty i'm gonna change all of them so come this way that's the door for the basement from outside so of course right now it's in an ugly shape i'm gonna either change the door or just paint the door and fix that i don't want that many locks i want to have a proper clean lock system so if you see here hot water tank but there is no proper you know uh just a kind of a closet to close it just looks good and look at this trim uh, turned ugly 
it's mold so i'm going to take all this uh, trims out M make sure uh, spray the mold removal and put a new trim again same thing i was debating to whether to change the tile or just for now keep the tile in the basement as well you give me your thoughts after watch the video so here is an extra bedroom in the basement again i'm going to paint the whole bedroom i'm going to paint the whole house change that ugly light look at that light <laughs> yeah and different colors two different colors red and uh, i don't know orange and uh, white so all this ugly painting will be gone and look what they did with the closet what's this this is like a, a bed frame rod and they made it a curtain rod <laughs> so i'm going to change that part so, and here is the furnace. Uh, so it's a gas heating furnace, central air. Uh, that's good. It's a, it's a fairly new one. Okay. And here is the second washroom in the in the basement. So tile again, same thing. Debating. And uh, this one. I want to show you something interesting. Look up, look up. Here. <laughs> no shower head. Uh, probably I have to change that. Shower, I was debating maybe just to, you know, re those corners nicely. Maybe keep the vanity for now. Just clean up, re it, put it, make it nicely. Change the toilet for sure because I, I was the one who will be paying water. So I want to be efficient. I'll put all the efficient toilets, water efficient toilets. Of course, no mirror, just a light fixture. So probably I'll put in some nice, some nowadays you can get a, in Costco for twenty, thirty dollars. Nice, those LED style one. And again, all these uh, chips are gone. So probably I'm going to change all these things. So go on, same thing. So here is a part. You see, all these things are gone. We'll change it. But before, previous owner was using this basement as a separate unit. You have a kitchen, you have a fridge, you have a stove. So that's why looks like city came to know about it and city gave a work order. So that's the one work order I'm dealing with it. That's a reason I actually got a good deal on this property because there is a work order. I'm going to let you know the price in a second. Just let's complete the tour. So trim the whole trim will be gone. Looks like the tenants poured in water somewhere from. And the uh, good thing is the basement is fully nicely uh, waterproof inside. There is a delta membrane inside. I did the inspection. So that's a good thing. And here is the final living room in the basement. Pretty good size, you know. Just uh, put a new trim, painting. Maybe change that light into a nice, nice LED light. That's pretty much it. I would not do anything else in this basement. Painting, big thing. Trims second big thing flooring third one these are the main elements that i think this brings up the property value so here we go into the second unit upper unit again the right in the entrance look at that pink color shit i'm gonna change the color so i'm gonna paint again same thing light fixture some gold i don't like it i'm gonna make it uh, consistent with my white led lights and the gray painting so continue welcome to the upper unit so here we are so right you enter into the kitchen again like i said previously it's a smaller unit but lots of cabinets so probably it's a good one for a couple or a bachelor one guy girl so i like the cabinets actually they're they're not new but they're in a pretty good shape you see inside so these are in a good shape so i was thinking i'll change these knobs knobs looks ugly i'll paint all nice white change the countertop so i don't like this countertop but the white subway tiles probably i'll keep those tiles and i'll paint this or i'll just take this trim off or maybe just paint it white because i'm, I'm afraid if i take this off there will be a white space and now i have to find the tile so that's a hard thing to find that little tiles so probably I'll just paint them white, paint them white and paint this whole cabinets white. 
change the countertop because you can see countertop is already ugly and of course you can see tenant left a lot of garbage they didn't clean the place so and uh, you can see here stove old but good thing it's a gas stove exhaust also like in a little bit ugly shape so probably i'm going to change the exhaust i'm going to change the stove flooring look at that flooring so maybe come this way so kitchen flooring definitely that's a solid yes to change the flooring but my contractor was suggesting me to take a nice vinyl with a foam and put on top of the tile so that way we don't have to remove the tile for now and that actually reduces the noise for the downstairs because there is extra layer so i was thinking to go with that so just put a vinyl flooring on top of it and uh, where mamta is standing that's the living room it's again you know small living it's not that big it's probably 8 by 10 but again good enough for watching a tv put a tv there put a small love seat there so for a couple perfect and uh, bedroom again so for a couple they put a nice queen bed here and probably there's not enough room for closet or anything so it's a small room probably i was thinking once i update it nicely i will rent this one for maybe 900 something like that so we'll go outside in a second that's a fire exit and here is the major work that i have to spend more money i will be spending on this washroom because you can see to start with pink tiles again i hate pink tiles and look at that vanity perfect dated look at the mirror perfect dated i don't know where, what's this closet sir i was thinking if possible there is no laundry in this floor so if possible i'll try to put a laundry here i'll see again that's something you know a uh, plumber has to confirm and tub i was debating actually tub and tiles are okay probably i'll change the shower head recog the tiles recog the tub tub is actually in a good standing and it's white white color so white color generally goes well with anything so even if i put a gray flooring it goes well with it and i'll change the lights for sure and i'll change the vanity and all those things for sure so this is something i'm debating because this is the one which actually costs more like this one would save me like two thousand dollars so maybe you know what i want to hear thoughts from you guys so tell me your thoughts would you recommend me to change it or keep it if i were you would you keep it or change it if i were you i would keep it so mom one oat from mamta is to keep it let's see but i want to hear your your opinion the audience opinion uh, of course this part uh, probably again i don't want to touch this tiles because you know if i start touching the tiles it's going to spend more money but i was i, I will definitely change that look at this probably they got this one for a different uh, it's not the same shape <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> so it doesn't even fit properly to it or maybe it could be the same one i don't know but um, it's not water efficient that's for sure so i'm going to change it to water efficient maybe paint all this white or maybe take this uh, wood totally off and just put a drywall make it all nice and clean you know plain just uh, paint all gray and look at this light fixture i think i already mentioned that so that's pretty much it guys let's let's go out and uh, talk some numbers here's the backyard last and final backyard so this is another thing i like it okay ah, I'm, I'm tired okay so good size backyard but uh, you see where my car is actually it's kind of a uh, muddy and everything so i'm gonna put some nice gravel so tenants can park two cars there so that's a good thing and the storage shed ugly color and even this stairway all ugly color i was thinking to paint nice black so first of all how i found this property um honestly you would not believe it's just i was not even intending to buy this property my client had it on contract and uh, poor lady she, if she, if you're watching this thank you because of you i have this property she tried her best to get the financing unfortunately because she was a first time home buyer she couldn't get the financing and this property was on the market it's a duplex again you have seen good size so i got this property for 246000 yes that's right so 246000 but i know if i make this property free of all the work orders and uh, once it's rented 
upper unit i can rent for 900 dollars at least and the main floor along with the basement probably i'm thinking uh, on a lower side conservatively i can rent for 1500 so i'll be almost like 2400 and i know for sure in this walkerville area a duplex with a one bedroom unit and three bedroom unit nothing less than very very conservatively 370,000 of the property value so even if i have to spend like another 30,000 or 35,000 in this unit prob in, in this uh, whole house most likely i will be able to pull most of my money out so let's let's go very conservatively 350,000 80 percent loan to value i'll be getting new value for 280,000 so that means currently the purchase price is 246,000 so I have another 30,000 to play for the renovations. Even if I go 10,000 more, still I'll be able to pull majority of my money out. So that's the thing. So I found it on the market just because of my client could not pull the trigger. And I liked the numbers. I immediately called only two or three investors that like have been telling me for a while that they're interested to buy this property, buy the properties with me. So I called these clients and I said, hey, here's the thing. One, one of my clients couldn't close this deal, um, but this is the seller looking to sell it for. And this is what I'm thinking. Um, are you willing to do a JV with me? So immediately the first call itself, he said, send me all the numbers. I sent him the comps. I sent him the property. I sent him the inspection report. He said, yes, literally like this happened because on the same day within like three, four hours and I was coming from Toronto to here. So here's the my suggestion for you you don't know where they come from you got to be prepared so i was prepared with my list of investors and uh, i know the numbers because my client put it on conditional offer it was for uh, condition upon inspection and financing and she couldn't on the removal day her mortgage was not approved so i was prepared with the numbers i know the purchase price i know the uh, sale price i know the uh, what's after after repair value and all those details so that's why I was able to present to my investor quickly. That's why they were able to accept it quickly because they can see the numbers. So this is how. But again, this is the story. What do you think? Do you like this property? Let me know in the comments. And if you forgot to hit the thumbs up, man, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. So stay tuned for the updated version of this video probably in a month or so or maybe two months. So that's it. You can watch the other videos. I'm done here. See you later. Take care.